Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in 22W05, no, 23W05A, and we're covering a new snapshot. Now, we're starting in the Crate World screen because a lot has changed right here. As you can see, it's now split into three different categories. The first category is called Game, and this is where you title the world, select the game mode you want, the difficulty, and also if you allow cheats, which are things like commands, ability to change game modes, and stuff like that. You can then click on World, which is more about the world, so the world type, the seed, bonus chests, and also if structures will generate. And then finally, the more option, which is about game rules and data packs. I think this is a huge change change for create worlds because it just makes things a lot easier to find although i think this page could maybe be a bit more full i don't know what would be on it it just looks very empty obviously if you click on these these still open up the old tabs as you can see and then data packs will open up the data packs folder final thing that has changed also the tooltip when you hover over certain buttons will now be adjusted so you can still read the actual name of the button before the actual tooltip would cover it so you can see what the button said while hovering over it you can now do that as you can see the tooltip tries to move as best it possibly can without blocking the button the next two things we are going to quickly cover before we jump to the armor trim tweaks is as you can see this chess piece is actually enchanted you can see it in my hand and you can see it on the actual armor stand there is a new accessibility toggle as you can see here glint strength and you can turn this down to off to 100% and also a glint speed which you can turn it to 0 or to 100. The default for glint speed is 50. The default for armor strength is 100. So as you can see this is them both on 100. The glint is a bit more actual visible and the actual speed is a lot faster. Now if we quickly just actually tweak that so the speed is down and the strength is off as you can see it don't actually show that it's enchanted although as you can see if i take it off it does have mending on which i really like there's now a way for you a player to still have enchantments but not have that enchantment glint to it let's jump on from that and the next change is if you actually have a chest plate on which as you can see right here and i want to put my elytra on before you would have to actually click the elytra onto your player to actually equip it now as you can see i can do it from my inventory if i just click the equipped button while i have either a chest piece or the elytra in my hand it will swap between between them which is actually so much better because now if you're fighting or you have your elytra on from flying you can quickly switch to your chest piece without having to go into your inventory move them around or anything like that and as you can see it does also work with equipping different types of chest pieces as you can see i'm quickly switching between neverite and diamond which is awesome it does also work with different types of armor so it's not just chest pieces as you can see i'm switching between leggings right here and i'm switching between boots so that is a huge change i think that's actually a bedrock parity change which i think is so much better there is actually one more change that i would like to mention with the effect command you can now actually enter a infinite logo as you can see let's give myself blindness i can now either enter a number here i can now enter a number here which would give me the effect for that amount of time but you can now also enter the infinite logo or the infinite text and then a amplifier and that will give you that actually a, a thingy for an infinite amount of time you then will never lose this this is good for maps if you're making a map and you always want player to have night vision or something or this is good if you have a creative test world where you always want to have i don't know speed or something now let's jump to the actual armor trim changes so before we jump to what is actually a change with them there is a huge change with them that that actually lets you put the same type of actual uh, what is it called armor resource and armor trim resource together so if we quickly just grab a smithing table as you can see i can now throw in the uh, template right there with the gold and i can put gold on it which the actual trim type is a bit brighter i don't see the point in doing this but i know it was a recommendation from the community and it does look kind of cool 
it, obviously I haven't tested it with a load. It could look cooler with diamond on diamond or netherite on netherite. I did quickly want to see what netherite on netherite looks like. So let's quickly just try that. And yeah, as you can see, you can't really see it. It's visible in some ways. As you can see, it's around the shoulders. But once again, that is now something you can do. And the final thing you can do is you can now put armor trims on to leather armor. So if I quickly just throw leather in there, as you can see, there is now gold on my leather armor. One thing I am also going to quickly mention is if you actually dye a armor piece with the armor trim, it does keep the armor trim applied to it. It doesn't remove it. So as you can see, I'm dyeing this one to purple. As you can see, if I now equipped it, it still has the armor trim on it which is really good and if you actually put armor trims on to a chest piece while it is dyed it will still actually keep the dye when it applies the armor trim as you can see right here so now let's talk about some loot table changes with the armor trims so the dune the coast the wild and the sentry will now always generate two inside of every chest or loot table you open so obviously the sentry can be found in pillager out posts every pillager outpost chest you open will always have two here i think this is basically just to tell players that it consumes the um smithing template on use although i don't think this really does tell a player it uses them on use i think maybe it should maybe have a tooltip or something saying it that basically it consumes on use or something because just putting two in a chest maybe could single that it's multiplayer purpose or something like that the uh, never smithing template as you can see right here the one that, that actually allows you to upgrade your diamond to netherite armor is now twice as common so however much common it was before in the uh, snapshot 23w04 it's now uh, two times more as common inside of this snapshot we have now dived in to a stronghold because there is a change to the eye stronghold or the eye template inside of library chests. As you can see right here, I'm inside a library. There is now a chance to always find one inside of this chest. I don't know if it's both chests. Yeah, as you can see, you will now always find one. I think this is just to single out worlds that have maybe strongholds but don't have libraries as libraries it is a chance they can spawn. So that basically just means that these are now more common as well. Woodland Mansions now have a increased chance to have the Vexen template. I think this is because Woodland Mansions don't really have that many chests that have the possibility to obviously generate one. So they've just increased the chance to make them a bit more common in the few chests that are in the Woodland Mansion. There was one change I missed about the Dune uh, armor template. Apparently, it's now been moved up a few pixels, so it's more obviously visible. I was just looking through the bug fixes inside this snapshot, and as far as I can see, a lot of them are just bug fixes with frogs and camels walking animations being bugged and stuff like that. But there was one I noticed, and that was Drowns have a swimming animation. This is to match Bedrock Edition, I believe and as you can see drowns will now somewhat swim they look a bit weird they don't swim like the player as you can see but they now have a bit of a different animation while in water it makes the drowns seem like they actually know the water a bit better rather than just walking up to you like zombies do when underwater although it seems like the animation is a bit bugged in places because as you can see they kind of just flap their arms and legs around while in the water so i don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional anyway that is where i'm going to end this video there wasn't really too much within this snapshot i think it was more just tweaks to the armor changes so these are a bit more balanced and they can get feedback on them a little bit more there was also the few little things with armor glints which i think are huge and also the change world menu but anyway if you enjoy leave a like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in another video very soon thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye